This could be our last goodbye, our last goodbye, she never told me why. This could be our last goodbye, oh I won't meet again. We watched her breathing through the night, through the night with a candle burning bright. She couldn't get to sleep that night, she won't have that problem anymore. My bathroom looks like a crime scene now, blood on the floor and the walls in the loo. Let's hope they never find her body or I'll be a dead woman too. So pretty, so nice. I think I'll just keep this song right here with me. After all, I pulled it right out from under Akuma and Lee's noses. Yo, dog, that bling looks swagger vicious. Horny as fuck. Is this you are doing? Hey, Epiphany! I think Ari gave him ideas. You know, the one about shoving an onion up his ass. Maybe. Ready for me yet? Maybe I can let my necklace watch too. Technically, he's wearing his soul. Leave my master to Kuma and Cory alone. You're really being annoying. I'm annoying you, Rabbit? There should be an eye in there somewhere. Then I suggest your master learn his lesson. Or shall I do it again? If you do it again, can I have one? No! We don't have any money after your pop tart spree! I just hope you give it away for, to me for free. I mean, and, uh, the Mary Sue's soul isn't really worth very much money anyway. That's true, but. But. No! Oh. <laughs> God damn it, Ari! What are you kissing me for? Stop kissing me, you ass! Ha ah, ha, you're getting kissed by an Hey, ass. guess what? Guess what, Ari? <laughs> Give Cory back. Sell it to me instead. For a dollar! We've been over this! We don't have any money after your last Pop-Tart spree! Which, as I may remind you, was at the Dollar Tree! We don't have a dollar! Yeah, we do. Where? Um, somewhere. Alright, turn around! No, 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 no. Oh my god! I cannot believe you! The ass put a dollar up his ass! Whatever is going on between you and Elibrius is not her concern. Even though she writes Onions and Akumas and, of course, Cory's lines. But then, I suppose logic has too many calories for your diet. Thank you for being so understanding. Yes, I doubt Onion here would do the same. He'd like to see you fat, even if he himself is allergic to logic. No, but it makes things fun. Then name your price for the girl to have done with it. Now, now, let's not spoil things. Akuma thinks she's dead. Would Akuma really have to think she was dead? Wouldn't she know, considering that she's her bloody parasite host? And I have a feeling that nothing anyone says will change that. She would really suck at Phoenix, right? I mean, really, really suck. And that game is like, idiot proof. Any ass could play it, right Ari? So long as I wear this lovely little necklace with her soul. 
Yo, onion dog, I'm about to become a chain snatcher if you don't give me that bling right now. I am so disappointed in you! <laughs> Why do you talk like that? I mean, I know you have to be a certain kind of stupid for Onion to understand you, but do you really have to stoop that low? Oh my god! A necklace is the perfect soul jar. It's not like that could ever go wrong ever. Akuma will do anything I tell her to. Why are you doing this, eh? Why do you hate your sister so much to put her through this? I am doing it for the pleasure. You are. As long as she's fine for the next episode. Besides, Piff, I think Onion here means he gets sexual pleasure out of torturing his sister. That's just wrong. And when she makes a new body, one that won't die when she dies. Also, that's stupid and you suck. Oh, give back what I took. Great, so you restore my brain cells? Most of them jumped ship after listening to this crap that you've been spewing since episode one. You're a sick fuck, but I'll talk to her about it. Good boy. I might change my mind about raping you, too. Sorry, but my diet is canola free. Akuma's fighting Orion as we speak. Akuma, damn well better win or I'm never speaking to her again. Well, Akuma is a loser, so I'd say it's a safe bet. I don't waste my time with people who lose battles against assholes like Orion. Thanks for calling. Feel free to call whenever, my dear. And remember, a free-for-all, fuck em all you are your own sight. Is that you trying to get past the shields? You can stop, please. Fine, leaving. Oh, finally! But taking my prize with me. Wait! No, wait! Come on, don't, don't, don't go! A, a dollar! Come on, two dollars! Come on! We don't have two dollars! You only shoved one dollar up your butt! Continuity, Ari! If you're leaving, why are you still talking? And tell me that when he is ready for the raping, I promised him to just come on by. He really doesn't, it's just a buzzword. Tell him yourself, and give back Corey. I might be watching you. Does he realize that they're in the same room right now? I doubt I do much of interest. You really don't. But then, Onion is a creepy creeper who creeps, so he won't care. Come here. You know Libris. Things would go much smoother if you didn't fight and just gave me what I wanted. I'm a warlord. I don't mind a turbulent ride. There's a clear difference between rough sex and non-consent. 
Why do you want your soldiers so badly in any case? Well then, if you really want it rough, I can help you with that. Just get it over with! My bed is always on the lookout. I hope it crashes into an iceberg and goes blind and dies. For the next one that is going to be tied to it. Your bed forms emotional attachments with people? That really is scary. Axel's Pet Burninator? That Fritz series hasn't been created yet, and neither has that joke. You or your rabbit, either one works. Why do you want to have sex with a rabbit? Are you into bestiality? God, I hope not. He's totally into bestiality! Run, Ari! Run! He's not the only one in his family. I heard one of his fathers-in-law is into cats. I already said I'm on a canola-free and exposition-free diet. Well, too bad. Badly done exposition is just something that happens on this show. So is canola, for that matter. Well, I do agree that you need a good lay, at least, but I doubt it would be from Yusaji. He's on a diet. Will this be our last goodbye, or will he ever tell me why? Will this be our last goodbye, or will we meet again? I snuck into his room that night, with a candle burning bright. Nightmares kept him up all night, but now he sleeps forever. He wanted her to meet us halfway, from Delaware coming to the bay. When she didn't come to meet us that day, he locked himself sulking in his room. Everyone knows you reap what you sow Perhaps I went a little overboard But if they never find his body Then no one ever has to know La 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 this could be our last goodbye, last goodbye, she never told me why. This could be our last goodbye, oh why won't we meet again? We watched her breathing through the night, through the night with a candle burning bright. She couldn't get to sleep that night, she won't have that problem anymore. She was meant to meet us halfway, meet us halfway, coming from the bay. She broke her promise to meet us that day, she never could follow through. My bathroom looks like a crime scene now, blood on the floor and the walls of the loo. Let's hope they never find her body or I'll be a dead woman too.